Hey guys, so I'm coming on to do a review of my holy grail of the Wetline Extreme Gel. So I'm starting off by using an Elastic QP Mango Butter Moisturizer. I'm just using this as a leave-in because I want my hair to stay moisturized. I don't always put a leave-in under this gel, but I wanted to try it for this video. You'll see me starting to really saturate my hair with the spray bottle that I have and that bottle is just water. Um, I was just trying to get my hair thoroughly wet to see if it makes a difference in the curls and clumping of my hair. But I think I actually prefer to just do it on damp hair and use more gel to get stronger curl. This question too much. Yeah. But do you trust me? Oh. Do you love me? Love me? Yeah, show me that you really want me. Okay, guys. So show I'm back. Um, so I just went off camera and gave myself a side part and finished um distributing the gel on the rest of my hair. So what I'm going to do now is since I gave myself that side part, I just want to define it a little bit with some extra gel. So I'm just going to take this and go along the part, making sure that that hair is covered. Because you know, sometimes you don't get all the strands. And I want to be able to slick this down a little bit. And I am pretty much out of this gel. I can probably use it to slick down, but the majority of it is gone. I had to, as you see, take the top off of it. So, yeah, that's that. I'm just going to go under here, get my edges a bit, make sure they're able to lay. And it is 10 o'clock at night right now <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to readjust this in the morning but I at least wanted to have some sort of foundation out right now before I get ready and head to bed since I have to go to work in the morning So I am going to spin around so that you guys can see the back. I'm going to spin around now so you guys can see the back. Had to change glasses. I don't know if that glare distracts you guys, but kind of wanted to just get rid of it. So I'm going to spin around and hopefully you guys are able to see the back and um, pretty much how it looks. So this is what it's looking like wet and so I'll come back on tomorrow once it's all dry and I'll also show you how it looks throughout the week. So today's Sunday when I'm recording this Sunday at 10 p.m. where it's wet. I'll come back Monday morning and each subsequent work weekday to show you how this holds up. This is typically one of my favorite gels. Like I live by this gel. It's inexpensive. Um, I probably won't get it in this again, but we're going to do the review later. But just wanted to show you guys what it's looking like wet and I'll be back. next morning and um, I'm going to take this off. My hair was extremely wet last night. It's probably still really wet to be honest. Yes, <laughs> it is still really wet. But I have to get ready to go to work. So I just tied this um, scarf around my edges to try to 
help them lay a little flat and I normally never do this so hopefully it's not too bad looking my hair is still extremely wet tangled but stuck together but yeah as you see still really wet no volume yet so do a quick spin so this is I did my hair at 10 p.m. and this is now at 8 a.m. so about 10 hours but it was also bandaged, bandaged up my edges did lay down so happy for that so show you what it looks like so that's that um i will come back later on today when it's actually dry and um show you what that looks like because it usually gets a bit shorter and more voluminous as it dries but i have to get ready and go so i'll be back So as you guys can see, I'm just basically showing you the progression of my hair from day to day throughout the week. There were a couple of days that I skipped because I forgot to record. But as you see, this just gets bigger and bigger and that always happens where I get my hair caught on my Pandora bracelet. Yeah, aggravating sometimes, but I deal with it and keep it moving. Hey guys, oh, <laughs> got to take out the bonnet. So this is day about 10 of this hair. And this is what it's looking like. I don't refresh my hair or anything of that sort um, in between the days. Y'all hear my dog. This is gonna be quick, so I'm not even gonna edit this part. But um, I just wanted to show you what the hair is looking like after 10 days. Normally by this time I would have washed it, but it's been extremely cold so I haven't gotten a chance to do that. I'm probably end up just washing it tonight and putting it in a bun because it's really cold these last couple days. But this is what it's looking like. Um, I just kind of like fluff it out just so it doesn't look too bad. It does have some frizz at this point, and I'll just spin around and show you. So that's that, but um, I really, 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 so I really, 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 really love this gel. As you guys can see, I've used up most of it. There's literally just a tiny, tiny bit left at the bottom, probably just enough to, um, you know smooth some edges but not even do not even do another wash and go or anything like that if ever I need a dependable wash and go and I know something's gonna go on where I know I need my hair to look at its best that it could possibly look I always reach for this wet line extreme gel I've used this gel before on this channel but I don't think I've raved about it as much as I have this is like my third or fourth container of it which I usually do not repurchase um, wash and go materials because I usually try so many different ones but this one is like an old faithful for me like I can always reach for this I know how it's gonna perform uh, I've tried to use it on extremely wet hair which is what you saw me try to do in this video but I typically prefer to use it on damp hair I found that I get the most um, curl and tightness of my curls when I use it on damp hair and just use a lot of it instead of trying to use a leave-in under it or anything like that 
it does provide a crunch but I like the crunch because the crunch lets me know that it's going to be working for my hair for a long period of time which as you guys see here I do just put this um this is actually a shower cap by Ebony Curls and I'll leave the link down below if you want to purchase this it's a satin lined shower cap so the inside is lined but this part is like a um I don't know what the material is but the water just beads up so that way I can hop out the bed go in the shower shower and then you know take this off and not have a problem and I also wear this because I have um sleep apnea so it helps me able to protect my hair when I do choose to protect it um even though I have the sleep apnea I have to put the mask on and I'll insert a picture to show you what it looks like under my mask which is another reason why I don't usually wear a lot of stuff in my hair but I found that that actually works pretty well um but that's that like I give this a 10 out of 10 it's really inexpensive it's found in a lot of different places I usually am able to pick it up at Sally's for about two to three dollars for the big tub I do prefer to buy it in the tub rather than this because once you get to the end of this it's really kind of hard to squeeze out but I was able to get it out to do my wash and go you just have to make sure you sit it like this so that most of the product drip down of course but definitely a 10 out of 10 and this week's question I want to know what's your occupation or if you're retired what occupation did you have and if you're in school what occupation are you working towards me myself I'm a clinical research coordinator as you guys know I'm actually getting ready to head out for work now um, I do a lot of drug studies so primarily what I'm working with right now is smoking cessation so we're trying to see people who are going in for lung cancer screening or that may already have cancer and be going in for surgery and trying to try a bunch of different different methods on them to see if we can get them to quit smoking either before their surgery or just in general so I love what I do I'm able to interact with a bunch of people especially trying to get them get their health in order to stop smoking to get better airways to breathe easier things like that I'm able to change the world one person at a time by helping them get their life in order so I love it I've I'm really passionate about clinical research and just research in general but I love it so I'm curious to know what you guys occupation is and if you don't mind and if Hey guys, so I'm coming on to do a review of my holy grail of the Wetline Extreme Gel. So I'm starting off by using an Elastic QP Mango Butter Moisturizer. I'm just using this as a leave-in because I want my hair to stay moisturized. I don't always put a leave-in under this gel, but I wanted to try it for this video. Don't try, baby, cause you're too 